nothing but in care of thee, my daughter, who art ignorant of what thou art. Tis time I shall inform thee further. Lend thy hand, pluck my magic garment from you. So, lie there, my aunt. Canst thou remember a time before he came to the cell? I do not think thou canst, for thou was not out three years old. Tis far off, and rather like a dream. Twelve years since, Miranda, twelve years since. Thy father was a Duke of Milan and a Prince of Power. Oh, the heavens, what far play had we that came from thence? My brother and thy uncle called Antonio. He did believe he was indeed the Duke. Dost thou hear? Your tale, sir, would cure deafness. The King of Naples, being an enemy to me and veterans, parked his rebel suits, ran a treacherous army levies. What well, midnight did Antonio open the gates of Milan? And instead of darkness, hurried thence me and thy crying self. Alack for pity! Wherefore did they not that hour destroy us? Dear, they durst not. So dear, the love of my people bore me. They bore us some leagues to see. Then prepared a rotten carcass of but, Not rigged, the very rats is instinctively quitted. How came we ashore? By providence divine. Some food we had and some fresh water. A noble Neapolitan gondola did give us. With rich garments, linen, stuffs and necessaries. Knowing I love my books, he fared me from my own library. With volumes, I prize over my dukedom. Would I might but ever see that man. And now, I pray you, sir, for raising this sea storm. No thus far for The accident most strange wonderful fortune have my enemies brought to the shore. Here, these small questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Approach my Ariel, come! All hail, great, great master. Hath thou spirit performed to point with the tempest that I bade thee? To every article, all the moves and the plunge in the foaming brown, and quit the vessel. Well, that's my spirit. But are the Ariel safe? Not a hair perish. Their garments fresher than before. I did spread them through the aisle. The king's son have I landed by himself in my left sitting, his arms of the set knot. Of the king's ship? Safely in harbour. The marine is all under hatch stove. I have left asleep. Ariel, thy charge, exactly as performed. But there's more work. Is there more toil? Let Those me remember what thou hast promised. My liberty. My liberty. My liberty. Before the time be out, no more! I breathe from my hands as I dance the board to servants. Hast thou forgot the foul witch Sycorax? Thou best knowest what torment I define thee in. I thank thee, master. I'll discharge thee within two days. What shall I do? Say what? What shall I do? Go make myself like a nymph. O and see, invisible. Awake, dear heart, awake. Thou hast slept well. The strangeness of your story, for heaviness in me. Or visit my slave Caliban, who never yields us kind answers. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. But as tis, we can't miss him. He does make our fire. What ho, oh, slave Caliban! There's one enough to me! Come forth, I say! Fine apparition, my quaint Ariel, hark in thine ear. My lord, it shall be done. I receive my dinner by cigarettes, my mother, which thou takest from me where thou comest first. Thou strokes me and made much of me, and then I loved thee and showed thee all the qualities of the owl. Catch me that I can show all the charms of Sycorax, toads, beetles, bats, light on you, for he is standing on this hard rock. Thou most lying slave! I have used thee, filth as thou art, with human care and lodge thee within my own cell, until thou didst seek to violate the honour of my child. Oh ho, oh ho, one of been done, thou didst prevent me. I have peopled else this isle with Caliban's. Have seed hence, fetchers and fuel. Shouldest thou? No, pray thee, I must obey, he's artered of such power. So, slave, hence. Fool, fell and fight thy father lies On his bones I corroborate
No, wench. It eats and sleeps and has such senses as we have. This gallant which thou seest was in the rack. He hath lost his fellows and strays about to find them. I might call him a thing divine. It goes on, I see. Spirit, fine spirit, I'll free thee within two days for this. I'm sure the goddess of you these heirs attend. The prime request is all you wonder. If you be made or no. No wonder, sir, but certainly me. My language, heavens. Oh, the virgin and your affection not from far. I meet you the queen of Naples. So, sir, one word more. They are both in either's powers, but the swift business not so easy to make. Less too light winning makes the prize too light. Thou hast put thyself on this island as a spy to win it from me, the Lord on it. No, as I am a man, does nothing ill come well in such a temple? Follow me. Speak not for you, him. He's a traitor. Come. Oh, dear father. Come on, obey. My father's loss, the weakness which I feel, the wrath of all my friends are but light to me. As I, but through my prison once a day, behold this me. It works. Come on. Thou hast done well, fine Ariel. Beseech you, sir. Be merry, for our escape is much beyond your lot. Proceed, peace. Give us some comfort like cold porridge. My son is lost. I here again shall see him. How our mind heir of Naples and of Milan, what strange fish hath made his meal on thee. I am very heavy. Wondrous. Heavy. What a strange drowsiness possesses them. It is the quality of the climate. Why doth it then not our island sink? I find myself not disposed to sleep. Nor I, they dropped as by a thunderstroke. What might, worthy Sebastian? Oh, what might? N no more. And yet, methinks I see it in thy face. What thou shalt be. My strong imagination sees a crown dropping upon thy head. <laughs> what? Are thou awake? Do you not hear me speak? I do surely out of thy sleep. Noble Sebastian, thou lettest our fortune sleep, thy rather. Thou dost snore distinctly. There's meaning in thy snores. Will you rant with me? His son, Ferdinand, is drowned. He is gone. Then what sleep were this for your advancement? Do you understand me? Methinks I do. I remember you did supplant your brother Prospero. And true. And look how well my garments sit upon me. Here lies your brother, no better than the earth he lies upon. If that were which now he's like, that's dead. Thy case, dear friend, shall be my president, as by Gothis to Milan. Come, I come by Naples, draw thy sword. Draw together, and when I weigh my hand, do you as the like to fall it on Gonzalo. Oh, but one word. Away, away. Why, how, now, why are you drawn? We heard a hollow burst of bellowing, like boards or rather lines. Didn't not wake you? It stuck my ear most terribly. Heard you this, Gonzalo? Upon mine honour, sir, I heard a humming, and that's a strange one too, which did awake me. Let us lead off this ground, and let's make further search for my poor son. Heavens keep him from these beasts. Lead away. Prospero, my lord, shall know what I have done. So, King, go safely and to seek thy son. All the infections that the sun sucks up from bugs, fed flat, are crushed and by make him an inch meal disease. Ah! Ah! No, 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 here comes spread of it, and to torment me for bringing wood in slowly. Ah, what have we here? Hmm? A man or a fish? It smells like a fish, a fish of ancient sort. With, with fins for arms and scaly. Oh no, what it is, what it is an islander who have just been struck by a lightning bolt and was tied onto this game stone. I shall no more to see, here I shall die as sure. Do not torment me, oh! The spirit torments me, oh! What is it we have here, a monster of the isle? Or the devil, should he learn our language? 
Praveen, do not torment me. I'll bring my wood home faster. He is in his fit now and does not talk after the wisest. Open your mouth, this will shake your shaking, I can tell you. Have I not heard this voice before? What art thou about trout? Four legs and two voices. A most delicate monster. I will pour some into the other mouth. Stefano! Mercy, mercy! Is thou not Stefano? If thou so, Stefano, I am Trinculo, a good friend of thee. If thou be Trinculo, come forth. Oh, Stefano, but art thou not drowned? Prithee, do not turn me about. My stomach is not constant. <laughs> that is a brave god, and burst unless you have liquor. I will kneel to him. Hast thou any more of this, Shafana? The whole boat, man. Has found that drop from heaven? O oh, brave monster, lead the way. If you'll sit down, I'll bear the logs the while. No, precious creature, I'd rather crack my sinews. Break my back. Pray, give me that. I'll carry it to the pit. Poor worm, thou art infected. You look weary. No, no, woman, mistress. Tis fresh morning with me. When you are by at night, I do beseech you, what is your name? Miranda, admired Miranda. I would not wish any companion in the world but you. I am in my condition a prince, Miranda. I do think a king. I would not so. Hear my soul speak. The very instant that I saw you, did my heart fly to your service, and there was ours. To make me slave to it, and for your sake, am I this patient lover? Do you love me? I, beyond all limits of what else it were, do love, prize, and honour you. I'm full to weep of what I'm glad of. Very counter of two most rare affections. Wherefore weep you? That's mine unworthiness. I'm your wife, if you'll marry me. If not, I'll die your maid. My mistress dearest, and I that's humble ever. My husband, then. I, here's my hand. And mine, with my heart in it. And now farewell, till half an hour hence. A thousand, thousand. As I told thee before, I am subject to a tyrant, a sorcerer, who by his cunning half cheated me off this island. Thou liest. Thou liest? I, when my valiant master, would destroy thee. I do not lie. Trick your trouble, monster, once more, and I'll suffer with some of your teeth. No, I, sh I said nothing. Hmm. Then no more. Proceed. I said by sorcery he got this out. From me he got it. I'll yield him free sleep. The foul may is knock a nail into his head. Thou liest, thou canst not. What a pining is this, thou scurvy patch? Trippy, I'll say one word more and I'll make a stuffed fish out of me. <sighs> oh, I said nothing. Did thou not say he lied? Thou liest. Did I so? Take this! Spare me the line of the time! I did not lie! Come, proceed. Tis a custom with him in the afternoon to sleep that thou mayest bring him, having first seized his books, for without them he is but a sot as I am. Excellent. Within this half hour, will he be asleep? Will <sighs> Father destroy him then? I do assure thee. This I will tell my master. This I will tell my master. This I will tell my master. My master. My master. My master. Mercy upon us! Half hour third. Be not afraid. This aisle is full of noises. Sound and sweet airs that give delight and hurt not. Sometimes a thousand twangling instruments will hum about mine ears, and sometimes voices that if I'd waked after long sleep will make me sleep again. This will prove to be a great kingdom. Lead, monster.
vigor of this harpy has thou performed. My Ariel, they are now in my power. In the name of something holy, sir, why stand you in this strange stir? Oh, it's monstrous, it's monstrous. Methought the billow spoke, pronounced my trespass, my son is oozed. Bedded, and I'll seek him deeper. If I to austerely punish you, your compensation makes amends. Thou hast strangely stood the test, so Ferdinand. Thou shalt find that she did not strip all prose. I do believe it. Talk of her, she is I know. What is Ariel, my distressed servant Ariel? For all thy passion, Master. Go bring the rabble, over whom I give thee power. Here to this place, scramble to bestow upon the eyes of this young couple. Some vanity of mine arms. Before you can say, come and go, each one trip on his toe will be here, mop and mow. Do you love me, Master? No? Dearly, my delicate Ariels. No tongue, all eyes, be silent. Come now, temperate nymphs, and help celebrate a contract of true love. Be not too late. I forgot that foul conspiracy of the beast Caliban and his confederates against my life. Well done, no more. This is strange. If I does some passion that works him strongly, never till this day saw I him touched with anger, so distempered. Our rebels now are rendered. These are actors, as if I told you, raw spirits, and are melted into air, into thin air. We are such stuff, as dreams are made on, and as a little life is rounded in sleep. Sir, I am vexed, eternal to our walk, to still my beating mind. We wish you peace. I thank thee. Ariels, come! What say, pleasure? Spirits, we must prepare to meet with Caliban. I am my commander. The drum from my house, go bring it hither, the stale to catch these thieves. I go, I go. I'll play them all, even to forward. This is the mouth of the cell. No noise, and enter. Oh, here, oh, where this spawn up? Let alone and do the matter first. Monster, thou hast carried weight, or you'll be gone with my finger. Carry it. Are there here? 
How beautiful mankind is! Oh, brave new world! There's such people in it. Tis new to thee. Is she a goddess? Sir, she is mortal. But by immortal providence, she's mine. I chose her when I could not ask my father for advice, nor thought I had one. She is daughter to this famous Duke of Milan. Is Milan thrust from Milan that his issue should become king of Naples? I rejoice beyond the common joy. Give me your hands. I wish you joy. Oh, look, sir, look, sir. Here is more of us. The best news is we've safely found our king in company. You are yet missing of your company. Some few lads you remember not. How fine my master is. Two of these fellows you must know and know. This thing of darkness I acknowledge is mine. I shall be pinched to death. Is this not Stefano, my drunken butler? He is drunk now. Where hath he wine? And Drinculo is reeling ripe. Where had he found this grand liquor that had gilded them? He has disproportioned in his manners and his shape. Go, oh, sirrah, to my cell. Take with you your companions. I shall love to have my pardon. Trim it handsomely. I that I will, and I'll be wise hereafter, and seek for grace. What a thrice double ass was it I to take this drunkard for a god and worship this dull fool? Sir, I invite your highness on a train. I'll bring you to a ship, and so to Naples, where I have hoped to see the nuptial of these our dear brothers on theirs. I long to hear your story. I will love all, and promise you calm seas and auspicious gales. My aerial chick. That is thy charge. And then to the elements, be free and fare thou well. The rare action is done a virtue in vengeance. They being penitents, the soul drifts my purpose to the extent not a frown further.